Hello friends and welcome to the Real NRA Forever's YouTube channel. I am NRA Forever. This is a follow-up video to emeralds showing you what to do with unlimited emeralds. And I'm uh, and uh, I'm going to show you today how to get unlimited diamond tools and diamond armor. Here we are. I've got my usual villager set up here. Uh, I've got a couple here for giving me emeralds. Farmer, he gives me emeralds. Well, that guy is wrecked. i got to get rid of him. But anyway, these guys give me the unlimited emeralds. And these fellows here, all lined up, are blacksmiths. As you can see with their uh, black aprons on their chests. Now, in doing this uh, unlimited uh, diamonds... What you're going to want to do is get, actually, a lot of blacksmiths. Um, the trick to that is you're going to have to farm villagers, and I will video that I'm going to make called Farming Villagers in Minecraft. Anyway, anyway I'll cut to guessing you already know how to get this many blacksmiths, and I'll show you what to do. The reason you want a lot of blacksmiths is it makes this process a lot faster. Now, these guys I've already set to give me diamond materials, but essentially when you get a blacksmith, he's going to be blank until you talk to him. Talking to him is essentially this. Once you insti instigate a uh, start of a trade process, whatever he shows here in his first box, there you see a diamond sword, whatever he shows you, this blacksmith will show you forever. So you can't undo that. So if you see in here something you don't want, you can exit the game without saving and then go back in. So my recommendation is to save the game after you've got some blacksmiths that are blanks in place and just stand here and save the game while facing the first one. And then from there, start looking at them. Now, it could take a really long time to just face them and just to get a diamond item here at the beginning. Uh, there's another way to do this, and I'll show you right now. Imagine that, that these these gentlemen here aren't offering what we want. We don't even know what they're offering. We'll say that. So what you do is you'll go to the first one, buy whatever he's offering, leave him. Go to the next one, buy whatever he's offering, leave him. Go to the next one, buy whatever he's offering, leave him. Go to this one, buy whatever he's offering. And you're going to continue this on down. Oh, diamond pants. Mm -hmm. And you'll do this basically however many you've collected of these blacksmiths. Now you can see they're evolving, so you want to go back to your first guy. And look at what his second offering is. This guy's second offering is terrible. Alright. This guy, not good. I would never make that trade. Because, well, I can get unlimited uh, iron as well. I could show that in a later video as well. Um... Oh, now this is something you really want to have, because you can't get this anywhere other than from a blacksmith, which would be uh, chainmail armor. Anyway, you can get the idea that you'll basically go through the guys once, and you'll see what their second offering is, whatever this is. So he didn't give me what I wanted. He didn't. He didn't. Well, no, I'm looking for diamond stuff, because that is the best. If you're going to do this, don't waste time on iron, even though they're good stuff. Yep, none of them offered diamond. So basically you do that. You go through them. Um, you could actually go through them a second time, like this. I don't have any coal, so I can't do him. And I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend making these trades. I would only do ones but only do ones like this. I would buy this. Because we do have unlimited emeralds, so we don't need to worry about that. Alright. Oop, didn't <laughs> bought the wrong one. There we go. All right, so now these guys are evolving. Now you have to make a way to mark these guys, maybe throw a torch here in front of them, the ones that you're not going to trade with. I've got a pretty good memory, so that's a terrible offer. No, I... Ah, look at that. He didn't evolve. There we go. No. Look at that. Now he's offering a diamond pickaxe. So you get the idea. You might have to go three trades in to get your diamond tool, but since we have unlimited emeralds, it doesn't matter to us. And what I've got going, let me show you. 
I have guys where I have diamond. The first four things are diamond, just out of uh, random happenstance. And if you watched my emerald video, you'll know how to utilize. Let me find one that just has. Well, I don't have any that are singles because I used them all. But you can buy these. I mean, look at how many of these I can buy. And then you can buy a bunch. So once you get to a diamond guy, you do this technique that I use. <laughs> I'm running low on emeralds. Oh, they're gone. Anyway, that's pretty much it. You can get infinite diamond everything. There you go. Look at all this stuff that I got. You don't ever have to use a single diamond that you mine. So I would recommend this as something you want to get started on in your on your map because it's the easiest way in survival easiest way in survival mode to operate. I mean, a diamond pickaxe is incredible, especially if it's enchanted, which I'll go into in another video. Uh, the easiest way to enchant things. But uh, pretty much that is it. Um, please, uh, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel and uh, like it. And if you have any questions or comments about this, just let me know on my channel and uh, I can answer them if, if I've missed anything here. Or if you're kind of, if I went too fast or anything like that, just let me know. Again, this is uh, the real NRA Forever YouTube channel, and I am NRA Forever. Thanks for watching.